Okay, so in this video, we're going to be doing some revision of inequalities. So hopefully you're already familiar with a lot of this stuff from year 8 mathematics. So whenever we're describing numbers, or at least real numbers, we talk about the number line. So basically, we have a, a line of numbers that extends all the way to positive infinity on one side and then negative infinity on the other. And then we have every possible number you can think of is between those two boundaries. And then in here, you can also put rational numbers, like for example, 3 over 2. You can have irrational numbers, like the square root of 2, which would actually be somewhere around here. You could have transcendental numbers like pi, which are found somewhere around here. And you can think of any pretty much any number that fits within the, the line of real numbers. Now, when, whenever we're talking about whether a number is greater or less than a, a specific amount, we're really talking about a series of numbers that fit that condition. So if I were to give you an example, let's say we want to, to take into account all the numbers that are greater than zero, then what we would do is we would have to draw a dot here so we draw a circle but it is an empty circle because remember, we're not including zero into this set of numbers we're actually just including everything that is greater than zero so then we draw an arrow that points towards the right because we're saying okay so the values that satisfy this particular condition are all the values of x that are greater than zero so pretty much any number that is greater than zero all the way to positive infinity if I were to say something like x is greater or equal to, uh, to 0, then in that case what we would need to do is actually fill in this circle because in that case we're actually including 0 as part of that set of numbers. So I guess that's the main difference. This one would be a um, solid dot and this one would be a hollow dot like that. And then basically this is going to tell us in which direction that arrow is going to point in the number line. So let's do a few examples. So we're asked to plot the following uh, conditions on the number line. So let's start with the first one. So we want all the values of x that are greater than 3, but we're not going to include 3 because this is not equal to greater. This is just greater than 3. So let's say we have our 0 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And then the same on the other side then we're going to include all the numbers of x, all the values of x that are greater than 3. So that's pretty much how you would draw that in the number line. Now we do this one. It's going to be very similar. So let's do 0, 1, 2, 3. But now we have to include 3 because we're saying either x is greater than 3 or it is equal to 3. So we're going to include the 3 into that condition. For this one, we do the same. So let me actually just draw 2, 3, 4 here. So we want all the values of x that are less than 3. So that's going to be that. This one is all the values of x that are less or equal to 2. So let's just draw the 2 in the middle, then 1 here, 3 here. So all the numbers that are less than 2 or equal to 2, so we need to include that. So we fill in this little circle here. Now for this one, it's a little bit more interesting because x is greater or equal than 3. So let's just draw that number line. So we have 3 here. Let's have 2, 4. So x is less. Actually, x is in this case, it is greater than 3. Okay, so let's just draw this here. x is greater than 3, which means that it has to be somewhere here, or it is equal to 3. So basically, that's like saying it is going like this. But then, at the same time, x is less than 4. So that means that we're going to have a value here, but we're not going to include the 4. We're just going to be less than 4. So basically, what this is saying is that x can take on any value that is between 3 or between somewhere close to 4, but not exactly 4. So it could be something like 3.999. Actually, we could even put like a, a dot like that. But not 
squared 4. So that's basically what it is saying. Now if we do this one here, now we're going to the negative side of the number line. So let's just throw the minus 2 here, minus 3, minus 1. We want it to be equal to minus 2 or less than minus 2. So that means that we're going to move even further into the negative numbers. Now we're going to do this one, same kind of thing again, but now we're going to start at minus 1. We have minus 2, 0. So we want it to be equal to minus 1 or less than minus 1. And the final one is just going to be minus 1 here, minus 2, 0. We want it to be equal or greater than that, so that's going to be pointing in this direction. So hopefully this has given you a little bit of a, a better understanding of what inequalities are. And what we're going to do in this series is actually we're going to do a lot of solving inequalities. And we're going to manipulate inequalities using some techniques that we're going to learn. And we're going to see how that can be useful in some practical situations as well.